tell me this. It seems like on your channel, as as well as, as on mine, uh, and, and we talked a little bit about this offline, that there's been kind of like a, a shift that's happened where you're mm -hmm. you're highlighting more like incredible testimony. Like this is the most encouraging thing you will hear this week. Mm -hmm. It seems like you've kind of are, are, are in real time making a shift to highlight things that you're excited about mm -hmm. and people sharing your faith and be excited about and not just chase down heresy and foolishness. Is yeah. that is that accurate? I think I'm still trying to find that balance. Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to figure it out. Okay. Because just being completely transparent and people can look at the numbers and stuff, but the the things that get the most views and clicks are typically the trendy pop culture stuff, mm -hmm. like the quote unquote drama stuff. Mm -hmm. And not saying it's all about that. It's not all about the views and the clicks and, and whatnot. Yeah. Um, but I do think there is an opportunity to reach people in that. Um, and it's crazy because, I don't know, I, I, I wrestle with a lot of videos that I post. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I don't even really want to post, but I God tells me to make a video and I make it. And I'm like, are you sure you want me to, to talk about this? And mm -hmm. I do it and then I post. I don't even look at it for like two weeks. Mm -hmm. And I go back and read the comments. I'm like, oh, snap. But... Like somebody, I, I made a video on somebody, um, like very famous person. I made like multiple videos on this person, mm -hmm. like talking about his like marriage and mm. just a whole bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I try to, I try to be respectful. I try to go back to the Bible. Naturally, some of my personality comes through, so mm -hmm. I'll crack jokes and stuff, but I try to keep it respectful. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I was kind of feeling some type of way about it. I was feeling like I was maybe being too harsh or mm -hmm. maybe I was like, clickbaiting too much or mm -hmm. trying to look for you know content too much in it mm -hmm. um but then randomly i get a dm from said individual and i didn't even want to open the dm because i was like oh he's finna tear me up mm -hmm. in the dms mm -hmm. like it's not gonna be it's not gonna be good mm -hmm. and i opened it and i was like bro it was so positive mm. he was like thank you for you know <laughs> I got, a, I got a funny story. Yeah, he's yeah. like, thank you like yeah. for saying that. Like, yeah. I see your heart, yeah. and like I want to amplify your message and stuff like that. And I was like, bro, honestly, I did not expect you to say that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's stuff like that, yeah, and I see where people sure. are coming sure. from. Yeah. So, so so funny story. Uh, you're, you're right. And so let me just echo and amen that. There is a tension there, mm -hmm. right? Because there's there, here's the tension. One side is uh, – it's not Tim Ross. You guys struck out. It's oh, no, Tim. it's not Tim Ross. Um, there's a that would be really cool, actually. Well, Tim is on that energy too, though. Is he? He is very, he's very so on that. Yeah. So there's a tension. One, there's a YouTube algorithm. Mm -hmm. You know the videos that are gonna go. Mm -hmm. You dunk it on people. Mm -hmm. the, the, you know the the libs are dumb. Mm -hmm. These people are crazy. There's that. Yeah. Then there's the tension of well, if I don't go to people where they're at and yeah. I don't reach people in terms of what they're interested in. Yeah. Then who is going to reach them? Yeah. Right. And I'm not saying that like prim I think primarily we probably speak to Christian audiences. Yeah. But there are Christians who are interested in this and are genuinely trying to think through whatever's happening in culture from a biblical yeah. lens. And then there's non-Christians that'll just get served up our videos in the algorithm exactly. that may have never heard a Christian perspective on said topic. Yeah. So there's that component. Um, but then there's the tension of the man, I don't want to just make videos where my response is and this person's dumb. Yeah. Right? Like, or this person doesn't get it, or they're blind, or they're yeah. deceived. Like, I don't want to just do that. And that, but those are the videos that go. Like, those are yeah. the videos that go super, super hard. So we've made it, it, it you've probably noticed it, like, I made it, it, an intentional point to, about a year and a half ago, we stopped talking about celebrity pastors in general. I haven't seen you post anything. Yeah. Uh, with the caveat, I think and I'm very curious to know what your opinions are. Yeah. With the, with the caveat of... <laughs> Andy Stanley in yeah. his gay conference. Yeah. Um, and oh, gay conference is crazy. Robert Morris. Robert Morris. Yeah. yeah. I think we talked about that on the main channel. So we generally yeah. like have stayed away from it. And I don't think Carl Lentz is a celebrity pastor anymore. I think but he's just doing a podcast. people want to know about that, though, Pe and they want to know do. your opinion about yeah. it. Yeah, they do. It's just that I, here's... Did I, tell you, did I tell you my whole theory about it? No. So I, like, I, I did a Mike Todd video last Easter. Yeah. And I came to this realization of like, fam, it's a symbiotic relationship. Mm -hmm. He benefits from Christian YouTube being outraged about him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I much rather work towards having a conversation with him, which I've reached out to him, to his brother, through a mutual friend. Yeah. And I'd rather have a conversation with him and bring my concerns um, and things I like about him to him than to uh, talk about him 
You know yeah, what I mean? It's biblical. And I think, and I think that to me is a, is a healthier yeah. approach. After the incredible success of our Bless God prayer journal, many of you guys began to ask for something that had a planner. And so we combined our Bless God prayer journal with a brand new leadership planner that jam packs the same things from our prayer journal with a planner, goal setting, leadership meeting, and notes. With the next pages, you can see different sections right along here of this leadership planner where you can start out with actionable goals, 12 months of calendar, our original prayer journal prompts, our leadership journal with the proven problem solution framework, and of course, just free write notes. This leadership planner is based off of Matthew 25, 14 through 30, which of course is the parable of the talents. The vision of the planner is to help you make the most of your time, talent, and treasure. Head over to blessgod.shop and get yours today. All right, I'll see you over there. Peace. And then in general, I've just tried to do less videos of like, this person got this wrong mm -hmm. versus like, hey, this person got this right. Yeah. However, they got this wrong, yeah. right? This person got this right, however, right? So like, that's like a an intentional thing because ultimately like rage rage content call yeah. out content it just goes it goes crazy but i don't know if it actually helps anybody grow in the lord if it's beneficial or you not. know what i mean like and yeah. that's the tension that but but it, it sucks that like that's what gets people popping like yeah. that's what gets that's that's what the algorithm serves up is like it's like call out content so i think there's a way to do it yeah where you can talk talk about the things that are concerning without dehumanizing somebody. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think that's the yeah. tension. And I think you do that to to, to 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 be completely like transparent. Like I think you do that. And that's why I think you got that DM. Mm -hmm. Now let me tell you a similar story, DM. Yeah. This is a video that I did not want to make. And it's not uh, it's not online anymore. Mm -hmm. I did not want to make this video. I felt like I had no other choice but to make this video. Mm -hmm. I exhausted every resource to not make this video. I reached out to everybody. I sat on this for four or five days. Wow. And this is a video that like I, I guess I, I kind of regret making, if I'm honest with you. Yeah. Um, but the same exact thing happened. Mm -hmm. When Furtick's son yeah. was doing his drill rap. Yeah, the beats are kind of crazy. The beats are nuts. Yeah. And that and, 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 <laughs> and let me just say that that kid is talented. He's got talent, He's yeah. He's objectively yeah. good at making music and making beats. Like, yeah. he is dope. And I reached out to him. Mm -hmm. I reached out to the mom. I reached out to the dad. I reached out to before everybody. Before you put the video out? For like four days. Uh -huh. Before I even made the video. Like no I response. knew nobody responded to me beside except him. Yeah. And then he and I and I was sending him voice notes. Like we yeah. were like kind of going back and forth. It was all cordial. I sent him voice notes and I said, Man, like this is just not a good look, bro. Yeah. Like you're way too dope to be doing this. Mm -hmm. This is not a good look. I, I would really consider taking it now because this this will go viral. Yeah. And people will find out. Yeah. And um and he 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 blocked me. Mm. So long story short. I did that video. That video go does does well. And then I don't know if it's because I did the video or because that story was already breaking. Yeah. But then that story goes massive. Like yeah. everyone's talking about it. Sure enough, almost one year to the date, he reached out mm -hmm. and, and and same thing. Yo, oh, really? I changed the direction of my music. I want yeah. you to check out my new album. It's all clean. Yeah. I'm trying to glorify God with my gifts. I'm not doing this anymore. Thank you. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, you know, and I've re I really wrestled with that video, bro. I didn't want to make that video. Yeah. I I uh I talked talk to my therapist about it, you know, yeah. and, and and my therapist had an interesting take where he's like, man, like we think that love is just about being kind and nice. Yeah. But love has an if you truly love something, there's an opposition to it. Like there's a if you love children, you hate people who abuse children. Yeah. If you love the church, you hate people that abuse the church, mm -hmm. right? So there's a healthy inverse of love. That looks the opposite of love, but it's actually yeah. not. It actually complements love. This is a Christian therapist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That can actually, Doctor Rudy's nuts. We're gonna have him at the at the at the summit. Yeah. Uh, dude, he's he's so good. He's so good. He's always dropping just that kind of stuff. I yeah. really had to work through that, bro, because I feel bad. And I took the video down. I'm sure people could could could, could track it down, but I took the video yeah. down. And that 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 um, and to his credit, like he reached out, and we've been cordial ever since. And mm -hmm. I, maybe we'll have him on the channel at some point. I don't know, but yeah. So that was like a thing that like, oh man, like I don't ever want to make. Yeah, and I don't want the channel to be like you're the guy that did the video yeah. about the pastor's kid. Yeah, <laughs> do you think I lean into that stuff too much? Uh, I don't watch all of your videos. Yeah, I think you used to, mm -hmm. and I've seen a shift. Mm -hmm. I think you used to. I think mm -hmm. I think like maybe two years ago. Yeah, it was definitely like Nick's mad. Mm -hmm. But then, but then it's like you're so. You're <laughs> you so texted me one time. You're like, bro, you look a little mad. What was that about? Do you remember what that was about? <sighs> I forget what it was about. 
Yeah. I can't remember. They're probably about like Mike Todd or something. I can't yeah. remember, bro. I think you have this like um hilarious, like uh you have this like temperament that you just like you'll be like <sighs> <laughs> Man, I don't know anymore, man. <laughs> like the video will start like that. <laughs> the video will start like that. And I'm just like, but there's this, there's this like um it's it's relatable. Yeah. And the way the pacing of it. And so I think you you used to, like you used to like, it would be like, cause that's a that's a, so again, a great way to make content, uh a, a unhealthy way to live your life. Yeah. Right? Most most art is like that. The stuff that makes video, the, the stuff the songs that go great, yeah, because you got broken up with the girlfriend that cheated on you. Yeah. It's like awful when you're going through it, right? Yeah. So it's almost like uh at one point, it, like you would wake up and you'd just find something to be angry about. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> they make a video about it. Yeah. And I did too, like we all did. Yeah. But I think, but then I think about like a Mike Winger. Like I think of like when he does a call out video how meticulous and careful he is. And I think like that, I, I, again, I think like he's one of the few that like has that grace over him where he could do it in a way where you can't say Mike Winger is the call out guy. Mm -hmm. Like you can't dismiss his entire, you know what I mean? Like yeah. Mike Winger is so much more than that. So I think there's like yeah. a, a balance, but, but I will say, I do feel like you've intentionally shifted within the last 12 months for sure. Yeah. Where it's less of that. And even when you're doing that, you come off in a and like the chat saying it here, like you come off in a genuine way mm -hmm. where it's not as um it's not like a typical discernment ministry. Would you would you agree? I yeah, I I try to. I try to I'm I'm not I, I'm naturally like since a very young age, kind of like shied away from confrontation. Mm -hmm. I'm getting like a lot better at that now. Mm -hmm. Cause it took me a long time to recognize that like not all confrontation is negative. Mm -hmm. There's actually profitable uh, confrontation that you can embark in. Mm -hmm. Um, but so naturally I, I try to be very fair mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. Um, I try to point back to scripture, but like I said, sometimes I just, I get a little wrapped up in my emotions and I kind of, yeah. you know, yeah. go crazy a little bit, yeah. but honestly, I don't think I go as crazy as I could. Yeah. And I really do think that's because of my relationship with God and mm. like, there are certain moments where I can hear him telling me to stop and to pull back. And I try to lean into those moments as, you know, best as I can. Mm -hmm. um, but I, what you see right now from a content standpoint, it's not the final destination that I ultimately want to produce. Yeah. It's kind of just for whatever reason, what took off. Yeah. No, know? that's good. Hey, thank you so much for checking out the video. Comment down below and let me know what you think. And be sure to check out this video that YouTube is recommending just for you. Let me know if they nailed it. All right. I'll see you over there. Peace.